Given confirmation holism, then every theistic prediction is only possible by combining it with auxiliary assumptions. But don't auxiliary hypotheses decrease the probability of a theory? Well, not necessarily. The weighted average principle is a mathematical tool that allows us to combine probabilities based on different scenarios. When applied to theism and axiological auxiliary hypotheses, it provides valuable insights into how evidence can impact the probability of theism. Let's break down the weighted average formula. We have PRE conditional on T, which represents the probability of observing a specific evidence, E given theism, T. This is what we're interested in assessing. The first term is the probability of a conditional on T multiplied by the probability of E conditional on A and T. The probability of a conditional on T is the probability of the auxiliary hypothesis, A being true given theism, T. In the context of axiological auxiliary hypotheses, this auxiliary hypothesis posits certain axiological values or principles. Axiological auxiliary hypotheses are additional assumptions that align with theism and provide a framework so that theism can make predictions. The second term is the probability of not A conditional on T, multiplied by the probability of E conditional on not A and T. The probability of not A conditional on T represents the probability of the negation of the auxiliary hypothesis not A being true given theism, T. This accounts for the possibility that the axiological auxiliary hypothesis might not hold. Now here's the key point, when using the weighted average principle with axiological auxiliary hypotheses, the formula does not inherently decrease the probability of theism. T. In fact, it allows for a comprehensive evaluation of the evidence and the variables. Let's apply the weighted average principle within the framework of conformational holism to explore its impact on the probability of theism. The formula allows us to combine probabilities based on different scenarios to assess the probability of observing evidence E given theism T. Within this approach, the interconnectedness of beliefs means that finding evidence E can have broader implications beyond the direct relationship between E and T. It allows for a comprehensive evaluation of the collective confirmation of the belief system. In conformational holism, the weighted average formula considers the conditional probability of observing evidence E given both scenarios of supportive axiological auxiliary hypothesis, A and T, and the negation of the auxiliary hypothesis, not A and T. It takes into account the interdependencies and mutual support among beliefs. If the axiological auxiliary hypothesis A is not in tension with theism and if it follows our confirmation rules, then the probability of E conditional on A and T will likely be higher compared to the probability of E conditional on not A and T. This means that finding evidence E supports the auxiliary hypothesis, reinforcing the collective confirmation of the belief system. Let's consider the scenario where the auxiliary hypothesis is not in tension with theism. In this case, the probability of a conditional on T is non-zero, indicating that the auxiliary hypothesis overlaps with theism. When the probability of E conditional on A and T is taken into account, it represents the probability of observing evidence E given both theism and the auxiliary hypothesis. In other words, we are following conformational holism consistently. When the auxiliary hypothesis aligns with theism, the probability of E conditional on A and T is more likely to be higher compared to the probability of E conditional on not A and T, which considers the possibility of the negation of the auxiliary hypothesis. This means that finding evidence E is more expected under the assumption of the auxiliary hypothesis being true. Therefore, when the auxiliary hypothesis is not in tension with theism, the weighted average principle does not decrease the probability of theism. In fact, it provides a framework to assess evidence in a way that considers the supportive role of the auxiliary hypothesis, ultimately strengthening the overall case for theism. So the weighted average principle, when applied to theism and axiological auxiliary hypotheses, does not decrease the probability of theism as long as the auxiliary hypothesis is filtered through the confirmation rules. In conclusion, when applying the weighted average principle within the framework of conformational holism, the probability assessment of theism is influenced by the interconnectedness of beliefs and the collective confirmation of the belief system. The evaluation of evidence considers the supportive role of axiological auxiliary hypotheses, thereby potentially increasing the probability of theism. And so generally given that it is a logical consequence of God's nature that he would realize valuable actions then for any evidence that we find in the world, if we find ourselves in some world, W, where W, contains some E, 
Here the E can just be some state of affairs, or perhaps just the data in question. And if the valuable action for God to take conditional on, E, is contained in our axiology, A, then the probability of A obtaining in W is logically equivalent to God's existence. Since God's existence logically entails that he does valuable actions then on any occasion where E obtains, A obtains. So the area, A, which describes our E, is equally proportionate to the area of God's existence. Thus the probability of A completely overlaps with the probability of theism such that A could never decrease theism's probability but must always increase it conditional on some evidence we find. Now of course it can only increase theism probability if the evidence in question has axiological relevance. In other words, the evidence is predicted by the conjunction of T and A. But here we see that the probability of A conditional on T will always be just the probability of theism itself, and thus if we find some evidence, E, then that will increase T and A given that T and A predicts E. So anytime we can join theism with an axiology, the probability of theism is logically equivalent to the probability of theism and the axiology.